Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Fanatic Official, your honest guide to the cryptoverse. Today I'm going to talk about forward protocol. Um, you might have seen my videos previously, maybe a couple of years ago about the project, but uh, now it's actually closing to listing and launch time. So now is the time to actually cover them again and, you know, go through the project. So it's basically a no-code cost-effective way to create blockchain, you know, subnets, decentralized application, and they have like a drag and drop technology. Uh, which is customizable templates that they have, and you don't need to have any technical knowledge to be able to build um, dApps using it. And, uh, you know, they also use AI for their programming, basically. I'm not going to go through the whole um, video, but also when you go to their website, um, it does cover it. So they compare themselves to like a WordPress for Web3. It's chain agnostic, industry agnostic, cross-chain compatible, and it's focused on adoption. Uh, you know, you can go to forwardfactory.net and um, use it to basically build your own decentralized application or DAF uh, pretty quickly. And uh, again, you can basically deploy and build stuff in a few minutes. Again, I'm not going to go through it, but they have a whole library of stuff that they have. And you, you build your uh, username and password, and then you can go and play around with different things that you can have, the tools. And the barrier to entry is going to be very lower because um, you already have easier ways to deploy and build your code using the tools that the toolkit that they have an SDK. So an application uh, you select from repository, you use the smart contract that's suitable for your project, and then the blockchain that's best used for your use case. And then in the forward factory, you configure the setting and deploy the project and protocol basically. Now, um, in terms of the blockchain value, economy you have nft DeFi, social tokens ai and machine learning in terms of narratives and here is just showing you how the entire stack works it's a pretty complex situation so i'm not going to go through it and then they also have a framework for all the needs that you have they have templates for dApps how to do it they have uh, blockchain and subnets that you can use you know reef scale meet this style you know all these and then they have the forward ID and pay, which is uh, tracking value transfer between different places. So that's pretty much uh, talking about the project itself in a nutshell, no code. They have 250 million real world assets uh, locked in already and over half a million dollars generated uh, with their templates and users and transactions being processed over different blockchains and uh, the product ecosystem, as I said, has three three main functions. Forward factory, uh, which is for deployment of apps, subnets, validators, and the blockchains. Then they've got the token and staking for forward token, staking for uh, liquidity contracts, DAO governance, forward chain, and then forward validator for the SDK. So that's for that. Um, now jumping into the roadmap in 2021, uh, they focus on the research, pre-seed, seed round, DAO maker, IDOs, and Maha starter IDO registration with their partners. And then Forward Factory version 1, 2, and 3 was launched. Product research and development. Go Forward Launchpad was developed. And then uh, in 2023, the Forward Factory Alpha, asset tokenization clients, uh, integration, chain integration with 800 plus, and revenue generation of half a million. TVL locked off 250 plus million. And now in 2024 is the time to have exchange listing. Um, TVL locked again, 10, $10 million. Mainnet support for Rust, Move Python, Forward Chain Mainnet, Validator Marketplace, and then the hackathons that they have in 2024. So that's the last step that they have built up. And the business model uh, where they get the revenue generated and we can jump from this to tokenomics is 20% commission on developer and designer fees for the templates that they built, 2% markup on gas for the chain, and every transaction requires gas to be paid in forward token, and the uh, gas and blockchain itself will be a uh, fixed cost that's gonna be incurred. Now, jumping into token utilities, uh, forward token can be used for the protocol fees, developer fees, and the DAP for the deployment of the users. You can pay for the validator fees by the blockchain, and the subnet deploying the user, pay for blockchain subnet annual fees, Pay for the gas token for forward chain and then non reward staking to be part of the DAO to earn and approve or decline developer submissions, non reward staking by developers, 
delegate to a validator and other protocol level utilities that they've got. So that's the main utility for the token. In terms of the uh, tokenomics, they uh, for the public round, the price is uh, 1.2 cents and total uh, token is 5 billion tokens for forward protocol, 15% TG unlock, three months cliff, and then three months a linear vesting is the vesting schedule for the forward token as well. Uh, for KOL, it's a little bit better. It's 0 0.01. And then they've got the 25% TG, three months cliff, three months linear vesting. So a little bit of a better tokenomics for the public round, uh, KOL round. And then the private is 10% on lock at price of 0 0.1. So that's also the tokenomics side of things. Uh, for the project that they are doing, the valuation seems quite fair. I remember they uh, raised funds in bull market, so that's also something to consider. In terms of team, they've got uh, the co-founder who's been 16 plus years in marketing, Mr. Key. He has his own company as well and partner with different companies like eToro, e e Reef, and OneInch. They got Mitch Rankin, who's the co-founder. He is uh, in Gold Coast C Regional Center, Seed Investor, Hollywood Circle Parks. And uh, they've got the senior marketing, who was the guy behind Cointelegraph and uh, also ex-CMO in News BTC and AliExpress. Their investment guy is from Polygon Ventures and the Sterling. So they're quite big in the Polygon area as well. Some of the advisors and ambassadors include um, Lester Lim for marketing, Stephanie, uh, who's from Stakes Capital for communication, Stephen Animal from uh, uh, Mahdao. They've got the uh, people from uh, Evan Lutra as an ambassador. They've got uh, also people from different blockchain companies. They've got a significant number of partners, uh, which you can see also on their uh, website. So these are the people behind the project but uh, some of the partners also that they have uh, let's go through yeah massive number of partners in DeFi space you know oh they have Kima as well as a partner Mahadao Frontier they got uh, a lot of infrastructure partners they've got a lot of education and the uh, ecosystem partners uh, that's like uh, Katana Inu Hololoot and then they got a lot of um, integration partners as well they're backed by Bitcoin.com GDA Capital MEXC, X21, CRT Capital, Stakes Capital, Black Dragon, uh, OIG Investment Group, the Token Nova, Dark Pool Ventures, and CVC. VCs are quite average, to be honest. And then they've got uh, also, that's pretty cool. They've got people from different companies uh, providing feedback, you know, about the project. That's, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I didn't see this one before. And then um, in terms of their marketing, they've got 68,000 followers and uh, a lot of mutual friends. And they've been quite active since 2021 to continue their build. They're going to list on Bybit and also a few other top tier exchanges. They've been doing a lot of articles previously. And uh, yeah, they're quite active in that sense. In terms of the... Uh, I think, let's see how many, in Telegram also they've got 31,000 followers and I think they have a Discord as well, let's see uh, in Discord they also have another um, 22,000 members, so they're active in all social media required basically for uh, Web3 now, in terms of their launch, as I said 2021 dragged into 2023 and then uh, now early 2024, they're going to do the launch and listing. It's going to be doing IDO on chain GPT, uh, 250K here. going to be, I heard, I don't know about the other ones, I can't confirm. But I heard, I think Bullpacks and Pools are going to be involved. But the biggest launch pad, lead launch pad is going to be 250K in chain GPT platform. And um, IDO is going to happen on the 30th of January. Followed by listing, I think, on the 2nd of February on top tier exchanges. I know Bybit is there. I, I think KuCoin might be there as well. But um, yeah, so these are some of the exchanges that are going to be there as well. I'm quite bullish on the project and the narrative they have. Valuation is a little bit high, but you know, that's um, how they did fundraising. So, you know, if you haven't registered, make sure you register your interest to join the IDO. Also, I want to quickly cover the other project that ChainGPT is going to do IDO for. 
So it's called Web3 War, which is a free-to-play uh, content-based uh, first-person shooter. Um, and it's by Rolling Thunder Studio, which is one of the leading gaming studios in crypto and, and also Web2. And the project is incubated by Zilliqa Chain, which is a big, um, you know, blockchain technology, uh, one of the top 50. And the project is focusing on the skill to earn as well mechanics for the gameplay. And, uh, you know, they also uh, focusing a lot on the flagship fusion gaming hub that they've got. Again, I'm not going to go through the whole, um, you know, uh, project because I'm not actually going to do a KOL for it. But uh, the project has promising uh, tokenomics and has some promising vesting schedule. If you want to participate, uh, you can join the IDO on Change GPT pad. And also you can um, register your interest for another day or two. 20% TG unlock and then initial market cap, I think, is around 800K. Total is 300K here. So... Again, it's a good one to have a look at and it's refundable. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, the primary content for the video was Forward Protocol. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, make sure you ask and I'll get back to you after contacting the project CEO, co-founders, things like that. And make sure you register your interest after you do your research if you're interested to participate. And there is a refund option for this project. So that's pretty good. Um, thanks for watching this video and see you next time. Goodbye.